What's up guys, Justin here with thecgessentials.com back with another Blender Geometry Nodes tutorial. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a fast and free IV generation geometry node setup for Blender. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this IV generator geometry node setup is brought to us by Antoine Bagatini. Um, we've seen his stuff before when we checked out the awesome Bagapi modifier, which allows you to do things like scatter paint and circular array and all this other stuff built on geometry nodes. So I will link to the video about this one um, in the notes down below, but this time we want to focus on his IV generator. And so note that first off, you can download this for free by typing in a value of zero. So if you do want to make a donation, you can name a fair price price in here and you can pay a little bit of money. So if you can do that, please support um, guys like Baga who are doing this because uh, they're, they're the ones that are really out there showing us the cool stuff that Blender can do. So either way though, you can download that file. It's basically going to come with two different files. It's going to come with a demo file and a node tree. And so the way this is going to work is basically what we want to do is we want to start by doing a file append and we're going to append the node tree from this blender file so basically what you want to do is you want to go find the node tree file that you can download once you download it you just want to double click on it you want to go to the node tree folder so there's two options in here bag of leaf and ivy generator you want to focus on ivy generator click on the button for append notice how that's going to bring in a collection um, that basically has a couple ivy pieces in here this is what this is going to use in order to create the ivy and so what we want to do now is we want to start by creating another piece of geometry so we don't want to apply this to our target geometry what we want to do is we want to do a shift a we just want to add something into our scene so in this case, it doesn't really matter, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with a plane. Um, that's gonna be important in a minute just because we're basically gonna go through and adjust it a little bit. But to start off, you want to go into your modifiers and you wanna add a geometry nodes modifier. Oh, one thing to note about this is you do need to make sure that you have Blender 3.0 or above installed in order for this to work. But what we've done now is we've applied the modifier right here to our plane. And so now what we want to do is we want to click the little drop down here and we want to select IV generator from this drop down. Notice this will only show up if you appended that from um, the file that we downloaded. But we're going to click on IV generator. Notice how that's going to give us some options. And so the first thing we want to focus on is the target collection. So the target collection is basically going to be the thing that we want to apply the IV to. Well, right now we don't have a target collection because our cube is just like sitting here, right? So what we're going to do is we're just going to right click in here and we're just going to create a new collection. We're just going to call it cube and we're just going to drag the cube into the collection. Now we have a collection here where we can set our target to be that cube. Well, notice how when we set our target to be that cube, now we have Ivy on this object. And so notice how the Ivy object isn't actually in the cube collection, it's actually being generated by this plane object that we had created before. And so notice how if we take that plane object, first off, if I tab into edit mode, notice how that plane is still in here. Um, what we're gonna do is we're going to select all of the vertices but one, and we're just going to delete them. So the number of vertices is going to affect the amount of ivy that's generated inside of our scene. So for now, for simplicity's sake, we just want the one vertex. But notice how if we take that object and we move it around, so if we select our plane and we move it, notice how the ivy is getting placed on this object based on the location of this vertex that's in here. And so what that means is that means that we can do some interesting things with this. So first off, we could duplicate it. So if I do a Shift D, move this across, notice how I'm getting ivy on the other side. The proximity of this vertex or this object is driving the way that the ivy is applied. So let's say that we wanted to apply this to a more complex object. So let's say we added like a torus in here. So I'm just going to do an add mesh, torus, we're going to move this over. Notice how when it's close, this is actually trying to apply um, ivy to the torus. That's because this torus got dropped in our cube right here. So just be aware of that. This is going to try to put Ivy on anything that's inside of that collection. In this case, I'm going to create a new new collection. I'm going to call it Taurus. I'm just going to drag the Taurus in here and then we'll just do the same thing, right? We're just going to come in here, add a plane. For that plane, we're going to add the geometry nodes modifier. We'll pick the Ivy generator and we just want to target 
the torus in this case right here. So notice how this isn't doing anything? That's because this plane that we created got added inside of this collection. So we're just gonna drag this back into our scene collection. If you drop it into your torus collection, it's not going to work. So notice how we can use this in order to adjust where the IV goes by moving this vertex around. So we can also adjust things like the resolution, which is basically gonna increase the snapping resolution that's in there. You can adjust the radius, so how far out from that point the IV is generated, the height, which we'll talk about more in our next example. Loops is gonna set how many times it goes around our target. So I think you're gonna get more IV in here if you set this to a higher number, but I'm not really 100% sure on this. You're just gonna have to kind of play around with this one a little bit. So basically just a ton of things you can do in order to quickly generate IV inside of your scene. But again, the coolest thing, at least to me, is that you can duplicate this, right? And you can apply IV in multiple different places. And so this is gonna work the same way on more complex geometry. So let's say for example, that I was to create a wall using a wall factory. So notice how with the wall, things like the height are gonna get more important, right? Because if you adjust the height down, then it's not going to, um, it, it's basically going to limit the height of the IV that's being generated. So you can use this in order to do that. You can also adjust your radius up to set how much IV is going to be created. So again, the larger the radius, the further away from this piece of geometry you're going to get IV created. So notice how this is creating IV on both sides of your wall, just like this. But again, this is highly adjustable. Meaning, So all of these settings are gonna give you a lot more fine control over where and how the IV is created. So you should definitely go give this a download. I will link to this in the notes down below, as well as my tutorial on the Bagapi add-on from the same developer. So as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.